Hello friends, this video on mathematical reasoning part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. We will study statements, negation of statement, compound and component statement, connectives that is and or or, exclusive and inclusive or, quantifiers, implications, contrapositive, converse and inverse, validating statements, in validating statements, we'll use direct method, contrapositive method, method of contra, and also using a counter example. What is definition? Definition is anything which is either true or false. It can't be both true or false. For example, I'll say 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. It's a valid statement. 2 plus 2 is always 4. When I say 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, it is always true. So this is a statement. When I say 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, which is never true, so this is also a statement. Statement can be either true or false, but it has to be always true or always false. We'll take my example. The sum of two positive numbers is positive. It says that if you take one positive number, i plus, and then you add one more positive number, it will always be positive. And it is correct statement. So this is also a statement which is always true. Girls are smarter than boys. Again, this is a contradictory statement. Girls will say that they are smarter than boys and boys will say they are smarter than girls. So, this is not an statement, right? So this is one example where you have contradiction. You can't be very much sure that girls are smarter or boys are smarter. So, this is not a statement. Mathematics is a fun. Again, this is also not a statement because mathematics may be fun for student A but may not be fun student B. Some people may like mathematics, some people may hate mathematics. So this is also not an statement. Exam fear is a good educational website. Again, this is not an statement. Why? Because some people may think it's a good educational website. For some people, it is not a good educational website. So these are some statements which are not an statement. Why? Because we can't say with 100% sure 100% surety we can't say whether the statement is true or false. Whether if you see the statements 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 or 2 plus 2 is equal to 5, we can say with 100% surety that this statement is true or false. So a statement that is either true or false is a statement, but statement which may be true, may not be true, such kind of statement is not a statement. For example, mathematics is a fun, girls are smarter than boys. These are not statements. Negation of a statement. The denial of statement is called negation of a statement. To represent this, we say it is false that x, x, x. For example, when I say a statement that is 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, right? This is the statement. And you want to write negation of a statement, you have to say it is false that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. So this is a negation of a statement. When I say some of two positive numbers is positive. To write the negation of this statement, we have to say it is false that two positive numbers sum is positive. We'll take two examples. For example, the statement is 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And it is true also. So this is a statement which is true. We have to write a negation of the statement. So we'll say it is false that 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. This is negation of the statement. We can also write the statement in this form, 2 plus 2 is not 5. So you see, this statement is true and this statement is false. If you observe, this statement is true and this statement is false. So what we observe, that if the original statement is true, then the negation of that statement is false. And similarly, if the original statement is false, the negation of that statement will be true. So we'll show you that also. For example, everyone in India speaks Hindi. This is a false statement. Why? Because there may be people in India who don't speak Hindi. To write a negation of a statement, we'll say it is false that everyone in India speaks Hindi. Or we can also write this as not everyone in India speaks Hindi. That means yeah, there are some people in India who speak Hindi, but not everyone speaks Hindi. So this is a true statement. Correct? This is also a true statement. So if you see, this was the original statement that was false and when we got the negation of the statement, this became true. So, for a statement which is true, if you take the negation, that becomes false. For a statement that is false, if you take the negation, that becomes true. Let's take one example. 
India is a democratic country. So if you say India is a democratic country, this is a true statement, correct? Because by going by the constitution, India is a democratic country. But if you take a negation of the statement, the statement becomes it is false that India is a democratic country. Or we can rewrite this as India is not a democratic country. And this is a false statement. So what we have seen here also, the original statement was true. When we took the negation, this became false. So let me repeat once again, statement is any statement which is either true or false. That means with 100% guarantee we can say that that statement is true or false. It should not be dicey. If you take negation of the statement, the true statement becomes false and the false statement becomes true. Now we will take property of negation statement. If P is the statement, then the negation statement, the negation of P is also a statement. That means if P is a statement, the negation of P is also a statement and is denoted by tilde p for example when i say p is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 this is a negative statement the negation of the statement will be tilde p and it will say 2 plus 1 is not equal to 3 or not 3. So if you see this is a statement and this is also a statement. So that is the first property. If P is a statement, tilde P is also a statement. Also second property is that if P is true then negation of P is false. Similarly if P is false, then negation of P is true. You got this? If P is a statement, negation of P is also a statement. If P is true, negation of P is false. If P is false, negation of P is true. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.